All right, there we go. Jules here. Dylan. And welcome to another one of our drink throughs. That's right. These are a lot of fun. We enjoy doing them. Uh, we kind of pick a selection of whiskeys, usually in the same genre or same brand, and we drink through them and we give you guys our thoughts. And in this one, we're doing a part two of Maker's Mark. Now, we did one before. It was actually the first one we ever filmed. We didn't know how that the whole idea would even work, but it worked out pretty well. And we decided to do a part two. I think this one's really interesting, guys, because we're looking at basically all of the Maker's Mark aside from the private selects and their basic offering. So we're going to kick things off with Maker's Mark cask. Then we're going to move to Maker's Mark 46 cask. Ooh. And then we're going to move on to the special releases. So we got the RC6 and the uh, SE4PR5, which... I don't know. For the life of me, I can never remember that. PS5. I'm surprised you haven't said that yet. <laughs> I've Every time in my head, that's what I'm about to say. I know it's wrong, so I have to go look at it. So, I mean, we love Makers. Uh, Weeder. Dylan's got the shirt on there. Boing. Um, I think this is a great lineup. The other great thing about this is that they're not hard to find. Right. Yes. All these are out there. Well, the, the RC6 was limited well, yeah. last, last year, year. But last year, it was not hard to find. Yes. I mean, the whole point of us doing all of this is to share our joy. To have fun? Yeah, to have fun and to share our joy of the dram. But it kind of stinks when we could, you know, drink these things, but we can't, you know, have other people enjoy it as well, right? I mean, we want other people to be able to go out and buy it. I like, agree. we can sit here and go like, oh, this is $5,000, like, you know, one bottle was produced, but you know what? It was the best thing in the world. I mean, like, that doesn't provide doesn't much anybody. service, yeah. Are so. you knocking a specific spirits competition in particular? <laughs> <laughs> all of them except for ours. Uh, all right, guys, let's kick things off and have a sip of kind of something to set the palate here. This is Maker's Mark. Actually, before, let's get the proof on all these. Okay. So it's Maker's, all greater than 100. It is. Uh, the, this version of cask is 110.4. The uh, Maker's Mark 46 cask, this one is 109.6, which is actually oh. different than the the mini bottle we did in the in the prior one. So it's a slightly different proof. Uh, the RC6 clocked in at 108.2, oh. and the uh, newest one, the SE4 PR5, is 110.8. So Can we really say that, that this is technically high proof? Yes. Because technically high, like high proof should be 120. And plus, right? it's not like super heavyweight, but it's it's a heavyweight. Yeah, I mean, isn't everything above a hundred labeled? High proof? I'd consider this higher, okay. high end proof. So let's let's crack into this. Let's get some Maker's Mark cast going. Okay, so as I said, one ten. Um, they've recently started to put the batch numbers on this, and this is the most recent one I could find. Uh, twenty twenty. Uh, looks like it's February twenty twenty by the by the nomenclature there. One hundred and ten. 0.4 proof, 55% alcohol. This is the new bottle design. Great looking bottle. The only downside I will say is that they stuck with a screw top for it. That's okay. I, I'm not I, offended. That's your as downside? Long as the wax seal is there, I'm happy. You don't no, like it? No, the, you think that's the downside. The downside for me is that when this first came out, there were barrel picks that um, they released that was like 125 plus. And I was able to hunt one down that was like 131. I've and it was amazing, it. right? But now it's, you know, it's gone back down to like 110, 105. You don't mean the whatever. private select? It was actually different than the private no, select? No, it was this. It was this. It was from BevMo. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'd love to see that come back. But um, this is still a great, great oh, made yeah. for the buck. I mean, oh, I think yeah. this was on sale. I think I got it for like 33. I love it. I mean, it's amazing. 110 proof of bourbon. Price. Such a clean yeah. aroma, right? Clean aroma crisp, profile, yeah. crisp, honey. Mm. Oh. You know, it's it's just 
It's so great on the palate. Ah, oh, you, you don't get any of that wheat or frunk? No frunk. <laughs> no frunk. Bing. Wow. Uh, it, it's uh, so unenthusiastic. Bang, bang, bang. Bing. <laughs> and when I say it, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on your face. <laughs> um, no, I, I love this stuff. I mean, this is pound for pound at thirty to forty dollars. This is this is fantastic. thirty forty dollars. I can go to the store pick it up right now. Yes. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I want to I want to make a plea uh, to makers right now. Can you please come out with a cast strength twelve year? I think it would be amazing. And they're not paying attention. <laughs> they're not, but they should because, you know, they, they've been doing these. All their special releases are, everything is not age dated. Yeah. Yeah. And and I don't know that an age dated would be better, but I would just like to try it. cool I that just, they went out there and I just want to know. Yeah. I want to know what 12-year-old makers taste like. No, I mean, I, I'm uh, in all seriousness, I, I get what you're saying. Like, 12 years is, is that sweet spot for bourbon. Mm -hmm. What does actually... An age dated 12 year old makers taste like, yeah. especially in a cast strength. I totally agree. I know. I don't need the staves, all that. Just the original. Yeah, because this is great beer. bourbon, man. Yeah, it's <clears throat> really good. Mm. And you know what? What would be amazing about that? It's not going to be like Weller 12, where like it's nowhere. Can't find it It's anywhere. only in some states or well, whatever. Or another country. I mean, I know we've, we've done blinds with this in Weller 107, and. It's a toss up. Ooh. Yeah. It's a toss up. I mean, I feel like sometimes we've picked Weller, sometimes we've picked this. It's it's that good, and yet this sits on the shelves and it's on sale for thirty three dollars. Yeah, you find Weller one hundred seven for less than fifty these days. Yeah. It's, it's almost impossible. So yeah, this is honey rich molasses. Oh, yeah. A little bit of that wood. Great mouthfeel too. Fantastic. Yeah. The the body the finish, is good. Finish is the great, complexity yeah. is good. I think I think well, I think the finish is a little you know, it's a little weak. It, yeah, that's where that's why I'm asking for that twelve. Mm. Yeah. Please. I mean it's short. But yeah. But not bad. It's not not bad. bad though. Not bad. I mean you get a little bit of everything. That's yeah. really just yeah, I mean and you, you kinda get that in Weller one oh seven. Yeah. So Yeah, this this yeah, I, I agree. This has a lot of similarities to that. A little bit different, but again, a great blind. If you've never done a blind between this and Weller 107, you should totally try it. Let Assuming us know. you can find a bottle of 107, which is the hardest part of that. So, uh, true. Great way to start this off. Let's move on and try 46 cask. Let's get some fresh glasses. Uh, let's uh, move on and try the Maker's 46 cask. Um, now, like I said, this is. Uh, it used to be released only as a, a, a holiday gift set. And now they're coming out with the, and it was a 375 liter. It was a small bottle. And now they're doing the full size bottle around 50 bucks. Um, I haven't had any trouble finding it, honestly. It was even at the warehouse store close by to where I live for a great price 109.6 proof. They did use a cork. Thank you. Um, great looking bottle. I know we were really excited when this first came out because we all are fans of Makers 46. Again, one of those bourbons that I think we all have always felt is just kind of overlooked and underrated right. because it's it's a fantastic bourbon at a fantastic price. And it's, why do you think that is though? I don't know. It, it, I feel like maybe because of price. It's ubiquitous. That's why. <laughs> I think they're able make to so, make so much. Make of it. It, yeah. I mean, I feel like so if they started to play marketing games right, with this exactly. the way the way Buffalo Trace Please does. Don't. Please don't. Yeah, please don't. It would be the same deal, no. but this flash sale. I know we were so excited when this came out, and I know in the last drink through we really enjoyed it. Yeah, if you do that, I'm going to scotch <laughs> full time. Permanently, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the nose is so much more sugary already. Oh, it's sugar, and and you know what? I would say brown sugar. This is the white sugar that's added to that, mm -hmm. right? Mm. It's smoother. It's smoother. Sweeter. Wood. A lot more wood. It's a different kind of wood to me. Mm, I'm not getting that. I don't know. It, it's, I don't get I as do much feel wood the finish time. is. Um, no, I get it more. Just a short. What do you think about the body? Do you think it's about the same? About the same. Hmm. I think this is much more I feel drinkable, like, personally. Yeah, I was going to say, I think this is more drinkable. This, uh, this, the finish is different. The finish is very different. It's light. Yeah. Yeah. It's light. crisp, but right. it, it's yeah. still there. Yeah. yeah. Very enjoyable finish. This this has a little bit of heat. This doesn't have any heat. This yeah. is way more drinkable, I think, than 46. I, I think I would agree with that. I, I like I like the front end of this, yeah. and this one's kind of middle and end. 
Yeah, I don't, it, it, it's it's a little more mellow across the board, right? And like, and and it, it's like you kind of just you put like you you doused it with sugar. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> I like this nose more. No, I, no, I like the I like the original makers at Cask. Yeah. It just kind of hits you from the beginning, and you know it's going to be a great journey. This is a more subtle nose. Yeah, this yeah. one's more subtle. It starts off a little slow. It. Yeah. It, it starts slow, and then it kind of it creeps Progresses, up. Progresses, yeah. Yeah, and then it has that longer I like that finish. Progression. Yeah, yeah, and I think. You know that bite that you get with the maker's cask? You don't get it with yep. this. You don't get that little... I mean, if, if I'm hanging out at a party and these two are on the shelf, I'm grabbing this almost every time. I'd probably go back I and forth. I don't know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'd be basically doing, you know, this. <laughs> Double fisting? Yeah. Like you always I don't do. know. This this is... Uh, I just find it way more drinkable. It is. Uh, this is a little more intense. If you want to have like if a you want to get the punch. Yeah, a little go more punch. For that. You know what would be great? As a, as a blend of these two. No. I gotta say, I gotta no. say, thank you for coming out with the cask, like as a regular release, because I think this really takes it up a notch, and this is where I, I wanted it. This is where I feel comfortable. It's a great, it's great. I mean, it, it, it drinks like a 90 proof bourbon, though. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what I mean. Absolutely. It's so drinkable. Yeah, except the flavors are punching through in a much more bolder way yeah. compared to the regular 46. Yeah, uh, it's great. That's why I like it. It's, yeah. There's a lot of vanilla in there already. Oh, yeah. Oh, which yeah. is surprising because we just <laughs> which is yeah. like this supposed to be this right the vanilla bomb yeah, yeah. It, it's great uh, uh, I think an underrated bourbon across the board maybe absolutely 46. underrated yeah right. very tasty no wheat or frunk no wheat or frunk <laughs> boom uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I hope I hope the editors like put a you yeah. mean Dutch <laughs> <laughs> it'll be ostentatious assistant to <laughs> Dutch assistant is Dutch yeah. <laughs> um. Any other closing thoughts on the 46 cask? It's great. Totally Let's go. Great. Let's move on and try RC6. RC Cola. RC Cola. All right, guys. RC6. This was the special release from 2019. Um, great looking bottle. You know, they did this limited release there. It was kind of the first time we ever saw something like this from Maker's Mark. They basically... I kind of feel like what they did is they did their own private select. And just said, this is a really good <laughs> private select. Let's yeah. release it. 108.2 proof. Um, the stay of profile is called RC6 that they chose. Uh, you know, they have the description here of, of what they did. They added 10 staves of this specific one that was developed called RC6. And um, I think that this is probably maybe my favorite of the makers that I've mm. had. In a mm. lot of ways. Uh, I recently tried the... Favorite all time or of the special well, releases? Of the special releases. I, I did actually recently try it back to back. And we're about to do it. Um, and I, I... I don't know. Let me ask you. Is there a place for the Makers 101 then? You That's know, a the tough Travelers, question. Travelers uh, know, exclusive. Which is now going to be, you know, regular, regular release. release. You think there's a place amongst this? Because I feel like I, I, I don't want to get that. I'd rather pick up, you know, the cask or I agree. one of these. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know why I would it, get the one one. I'd just go for the higher. Right, proof. it's a weird number. It's or, weird. Or, or at least go for like a barrel pick somewhere. Because the other thing is, some of the some of the cask strings I think have been as low as like one oh six, right? Yes. So it's like really, it's not that different. I, I don't know if it's barrel selection. I remember that one being a little hot. Mm. And uh, you know we'll we'll try it again in the future. I know, but uh, it's a nice gift. But I don't know if I would yeah. go out of my yeah, way. Especially as a regular release. I mean, yeah. I think it, it's well. The, the funny thing is, is, is what the way it's priced right now, at least, it's it's a new release. It's priced higher than the than the yeah. uh, cask. So I don't get it. Yeah, um, it's not bad. It's just uh, it's marketing play. I feel like take this and add a few drops of water in there. There's no, 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 no. Just take this why. and make People... it twelve year. I agree. Wow, the aroma. Oh, the nose the on the aroma. Zone. You get the, the nose. cinnamon. Amazing. Oh. Hmm. oh, the cinnamon. I mean, I got to say, this is... The cinnamon. This is a this real is treat. This is a real treat. The aroma, the nose, is blows you know the I'm rest away. You know what I'm going to say? What? Pappy 12. Whoa. Lot B. Van Winkle Lot B. Bring that up in your memory and tell me that this isn't as good, if not better. I would say the flavor profile, I mean, the, the nose profile, I would agree with you, except this one has a little bit more burn from the alcohol. I think the, the Pappy 12 has a little less. Because I, I don't really get I don't really get the ethanol. It's lower proof. 
There is a burn that happens here. I don't know, man. This no. is so <laughs> sweet to me. I really? freaking love this. I'm so happy I have the RC snakes. <laughs> this is so good. This is so, so good. So sweet. There's, there's that caramel hit. There's that cinnamon hit. There's a little bit of pepper on the finish. There's a lot of pepper. I don't I think, get that much pepper. I think I think the difference. I think I would agree with you on the nose, but I think in the the flavor in the in the flavor profile, I think it has a little bit more wood than what you would get in the pappy. I think pappy you get more of the honey and the sweetness. Maybe. This one has a little bit of that wood kicking in. This has a lot and of I think spice kicking in. In the finish, I get more wood. I get more wood on wow. this. Wow, I get a great balance on the finish personally. I mean, I I did this not too long ago. I, I had well, after I got the uh, the P E. P PR5. SP4 PR5. I have to read it every single time. Uh, after I got that, I poured the neck pour just because we want to have it open up a little bit before we review it. And I tasted it, and then I tried the RC6 right afterwards, and I preferred this, the RC6. And, and, and as I was tasting it, I had the same thought of like, wow, this, this has like a pappy thing going on mm -hmm. here. Weeded bourbon. And then I went and I grabbed my bottle of the Van Winkle 12, and I tasted it right after this. And... I think it's the proof that this one is much more powerful, mm. and I preferred this. Um, but that, that to me alone was like a bombshell. I was like, wow. I mean, yeah, that's a revelation because this one, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah you know, this is 2019, bucks. but but still, the, the idea that you could get this really, um, you know, And the fact easily. that, as far as I'm concerned, when I had them back-to-back, -back, that that and the Van Winkle 12, that I would easily pick this. It was just mind blowing to me. Um, I think it would be a great in a blind yeah. at some point. Maybe we'll do that. But, yeah. Uh, wow. I, I really enjoy this flavor profile. That's I great. mean, this has, in my book, no rough edges. It's it's everything I like from bourbon. It's the sweet. It's the spice. It's honey, molasses, dark, honey, uh, brown sugar, caramel, caramel, cinnamon. Uh, it's the baking spice. This, yeah. this yeah, baking has spice. that, and that's. And it's not the vanilla, which is the other one, but, but it has that cinnamon. That, and that's always, for me, what I pull out of the Van Winkle stuff. But. If I if I would knock this, it's in the slight overwhelming wood on the finish compared to, say, stuff yeah. that don't have the same. It's a little bit woody. Yeah. A little bit woody. You're right. <laughs> I feel like if you make the 12 year makers uh you another would, you would have a different <laughs> it would be well different. it surely would be interesting um but i don't know that that would be less woody true so I possibility know. yes all right great bourbon here uh let's move on to our final one and get some fresh glasses all right guys the last stop in the maker's mark train today is the newest special release their SE4PR5, clocking in at 110 proof. This one was specifically um, engineered to bring out the vanilla. That's what they said. Um, it'll be interesting having this right after the RC6. I, I told you guys my little anecdote about having these back to back. I wasn't paying attention, but sure. Well, that's fine. Um, I mean, I, I love makers for doing these special releases. I think it's great, but I'm really curious now. It's a great nose. It's a great nose. It's a great nose. Definitely a great nose. I, I How still, would you compare though? I still think See, I like I the know. RC a little I better. I like this more. I like the RC a little better. No, I like the RC more. You know really? why? This one is a rich profile, yeah. mm. the nose. It's rich, it's- This uh, is a little more one-dimensional. It's one-dimensional, yeah. yeah, I agree. There's definitely- It's good. It's good. It's good, and you get the vanilla. Yeah, what happened in like, it toned it down and then it narrowed the spectrum. That's what it feels like. Yeah, it, it, it's almost like it's more focused, but yes. more limited at the same time. So good for the connoisseur, though, mm -hmm. right? Because oh, yeah. you want They'll something different. This. You can't. You can't come. Can't be the same. Right. Yeah, can't I mean, be this is the tenth anniversary of forty six, and you can't just keep making the same right. similar yeah. it's stuff. Different. Right. It's different. It's definitely different. Definitely different. I. Yeah, I will reaffirm mm -hmm. after tasting I think this. I enjoy this more. I I prefer the RC six to this. For sure. I prefer RC six. Yeah. Um, I don't know why it's it's very narrow in its scope. Yeah, it's good. That's great. Um, I think the finish on the RC6 is a little better too. Yeah, this has a little bit of um, again I, a I little more oak. wood, oh, yeah. um, and that's just over. Which is the weird. wood and the vanilla. That's the, that's the ending, not the fruit and all that stuff. It just just tastes yeah. to go right now. It's just vanilla and wood. And there's mm. no like vanillas, vanilla and pepper on this. Yeah. Whereas this had that cinnamon. This had that. 
like all, all spice and the star anise, like the other baking spices. This is really just vanilla and pepper for me. Yeah. This one, this one's like, if, if, if I use a cake analogy, this is the white cake. Okay. But this one's like praline and like you know some yeah. other types of caramel like, right you this know, is this is a this is vanilla ice cream with black pepper this is uh jamok almond fudge actually no it's like a caramel praline ice that's cream. what i said yeah. praline yeah, you're right you're yeah right. yeah so, i don't know i just wanted to say jamoka <laughs> i love i love ice cream what can i say yeah yeah no doubt to me huge difference why do, you like yeah, so, why do you like this why do you like this I, I don't know. I just find it. I, I mean, I guess. So if I were to label this, I'd be like, this is a cool midday drinker. This is like my nightcap. And I, I don't know. I think that's why this would be like a midday. I enjoy the midday more, mm. you know, because I would definitely love to end on a good note. So I would end with this. But I don't know. That's why See, I think it's that I, I would do this midday dessert. Really? I don't know. I, I, I'm not I don't want to say that I dislike this. I, I like mm. it a lot, but I don't know. I, okay. I don't know. It didn't, right. hit, didn't hit it quite as well. Ribs. Okay. Chicken. Cake. Praline. More cake. Just some experiments. Pound cake. Uh, I mean, this is Coffee like, cake. I, I would put this aside like this. I'd say this one is like more connoisseur. This would be part of your, that's your tasting that's your, menu. That's the lineup. Yeah, yeah, this is the tasting menu for me. This is for if somebody yeah. like... Amuse bouche. Experimental. <laughs> yeah, experimental. It, really, it, it tastes it really experimental. experimental yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I like yeah that's that's how I'm putting it. You know, and I get like, I don't want people to think that it's bad. It's not. It's just yeah. very different. Yeah. And uh, it may be, it may be your jam the way it's Jules's jam, but. I, I, oh, I want to be a little bit more concrete. Texas style salt pepper ribs. Okay. Without no sauce. Uh, without no with no so sauce. Franklin's. Because. Yeah, because this brings the sweetness. I don't need the barbecue More, sauce. Yeah. This is sweet on its own. Yeah. Um, so I think that's what I would do. That's how I would pair it. Yeah, this is a great progression. And yes. this is like you're right. This is almost like an outline. Yeah, it's like it's like here. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, a really fun drink through for us. Uh, hopefully, it was interesting for you guys to watch as well. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for drink throughs that you think we should do, yes. Pop let a comment know. down there below. Let us know what you guys think would be cool. Let us know what you thought of this one as well, Jules. Yeah, be the cool guy or gal. Gives us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Check us out. Check out our podcast, anyone, all the major podcast platforms. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. What a volume. What a volume. <laughs> <laughs> right, rap, thaws, hava.